I love my job. They call me Mr. Zebra. I like to make people know what I have. Taking out their pieces of wood and tools from their tool bags, the competitors are ready for the first year of the carving contest. Wood, art, joy and culture in Kenya. I decided to, to make the cheetah the, the zebra because of the, the, the way I, I saw them in the bush, how they hunt the other ones. So that's why I decided to carve it like that. I know to make many animals, about six types. I do very well with zebra because of it's beautiful. Even some people, they call me Mr. Zebra. beautiful <laughs> part of this animal, which is difficult, is the head. If I see something, I just put my head, then I go and make mine like that one, without observing it. I do the idea I have in my mind. The rough shape of each sculpture starts to appear within a few hours. And then, all the proficient carvers being sanded, coloured and polished to go into further details. Nikapaka, alafu, ilikuwa ilitengeneza rangi na maka kula chokes. Nikatengeneza, kachanganya, na nikapaka zasa ikakuwa mbulaka. Kyo nikapaka rangi yenye tunatumianga kupaka yatu kusimute ni sasa ikakuwa hivyo. 22 pieces of fine woodwork are created and each piece delivers each artist special messages. My tribe, we were hunters before. So this is what we inherited from our, our ancestors. When we are hunting, there are people who go to chase the animals and others go and wait. So we just kneel down and wait. 
It is rare to have a wood carving competition in Kenya, not to mention at Nanyuki, a town located 200 kilometers north of the capital, Nairobi. Why I chose to bring you to, to Nanyuki is that uh, Nanyuki is a place where we have so many of these wood covers. For a simple reason that here we have the market. We have so many of the tourists who come around Mount in Kenya. So for the local people, they have the market for their products. Here is the market where all the artists come from. This is the place that we bring our, our staffs when we finish carving for the tourists. Yeah. Then they come and select maybe, or maybe they come to uh, my workshop direct and buy from me. Shark, one of those artists in the contest, has high potential. Instead of creating new features, he now mostly manufactures customised work from overseas orders. This is someone who gave me from UK a portrait of him. Are you setting the face? The setting the face is the, the hardest thing. You know, the eyes, you have to take you know, the measurements exactly. I get from the image from my head. I don't have to sketch anything. And like this one, I never sketched. This is a piece of wood, and then I start. I just sit down and take time, relax, you know? and then fig figure out, figure out, and then I do it. I, I just come down here and then do the, the eyes. Yes. Maybe I, I, I do it for, you know, to make a living. But me, I like this because, you no, know, I feel in my heart that I'm doing something good. I feel good doing it. In order to support the family, most of the carvers focus on making wildlife pieces and aim to meet the expectation of tourists, even though many of the artists are not able to see the animals with their own eyes. They can create vivid woodwork with their imagination and from photographs, and through this competition, the carvers have indeed revealed their true talent to the world. There's the difference because, you know, before I never knew, I never tested myself to know what position I can be. Yeah, and it's a great thing. I was saying competition is a competition. We're gonna till the, the end. Yeah, we're gonna face each other. Yeah. You're ready? I'm really ready. Oh, I feel great. I feel great. <laughs>